Not that this is really relevant, but I have to set it up this way. This is why I stopped doing this routine years ago. It takes a little while to set up. Along with being a stand-up comedian, I'm also a professional clown. I know that means absolutely nothing to you people, because most people name two real clowns as Bozo and Ronald McDonald. But, uh, um, I'm actually a professional clown. There's a place called the Clown Hall of Fame, which is now located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I've been the honor of sitting on the board for several years. And uh, one of the things they do is they collect information about clowns from all over the world. Uh, one of the things that we, we received at the, at the Hall of Fame, uh, uh, it's been 15 years now, was uh, some old Super 8 footage of a gentleman who actually did a routine called Cannonball Catching. Some of you may recognize this when I describe it, because the video clip is used over and over again. It's a fairly large gentleman wearing a white pair of uh, pants, goggles on, and he gets hit in the chest with a cannon coming in. You know the one I'm talking about? His name, I swear to God, his name is Richard Dick. That was his name. He passed away. When he passed away, his wife donated these films to the Hall of Fame. Nobody had ever recreated his whole routine. It was called cannonball catching. He would they'd do a lot of different things, culminating with the cannonball being shot at him. But because of my size, it's a research institute, so we try to learn how clowns did things. Uh, because of my size, they've asked me to recreate the opening part of his show, which is cannonball catching. Which what he would do is he, he'd put a cannonball on a teeter board, and a guy would jump on it, launch the uh, cannonball in the air, and catch it on the back of his neck. And uh, because of my size, they've asked me to learn to do that. I spent several years practicing and learning to do this. And like I said, I don't do it very often, but I, I think I'll do it tonight since we're a small group and I want to make sure you guys feel like you get your full money's worth. Um, so I'm, I'm actually going to attempt to do cannonball catching. Are, are you rolling? Because I don't do this very often. I don't think it's ever been videotaped. Um, so I, and it's very difficult to find a cannonball anywhere in America that's not welded down in Central Park. So, uh, so I've chosen to use the next best thing, uh, which of course is a bowling ball. Of course, that's right. So what I'm, I'm going to attempt to do is actually uh, take this bowling ball, it's a 16 pounder, and, uh, and and launch this up in the air. The stage is certainly solid enough to handle it. And I attempt to catch this on the back of my neck here. And uh, if I'm successful, which means I don't knock myself out, <laughs> uh, and, and if I'm not successful, use your cell phone to call 911. So. <laughs> Very nice, Billy. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, like I said, I'm going to launch this in the air, catch it on the back of my neck if I'm successful. Please clap. If I'm not successful, give me mouth to mouth because you're really cute. <laughs> Come on! You didn't pay that much. <laughs> you should have seen her eye. <laughs> these things are great. You got to get yourself one. Go down to the local high school. Tell the coach to look one way while you steal these. And uh, anybody here a bowler? You, you got a favorite alley you go bowling at? Get one of these bad boys. Make sure the owner is watching as you step up. Watch this some bitch about 25 foot in the air. By the time it hits the woods, he's dead of a coronary, man. It's excellent. <laughs> <laughs> 